I was about to invest in this token that I think have a 10x or even 50x potential. Then I realized something that made me think twice. Either I should double down on it or I should really stay away from it. And I really want you to understand this. I am talking about blur. Blur is one of the worst things that could happen to my face. But it's also a popular NFT marketplace that's been raising recently and we will see that some of it is for the good thing and some of it is really for the bad so I'm really not sure about what I should do now and you should be really careful about this. Before digging into the data about Blur and NFT in general because maybe you're thinking like me, why we talk about NFT? It's 2024 almost, no one talks about NFT anymore. Well, there's some data that we are forgetting. What put Blur on my radar is that I saw that there was an inflow of $1 million of smart investors in the past seven days. And there are more and more holders that are part of the smart money. To explain briefly, what is smart money? It's people who are making trades, investments, and making profits from it. And let's face it, it's not that many people in crypto. So how do we know them? Well, it's simple. The blockchain is an open ledger. We can see all the transactions so we can know who is buying this NFT and when he's selling it, did he make a profit or a loss? And then we're going to follow them, of course, if they made profit multiple times. And it's exactly the same thing with tokens. I can know all the addresses when they bought a token and when they are selling it. Welcome to Handsome Finance. Get your match up because this video is going to be really interesting and you can apply this not only to the NFT marketplace, but also to other topics in crypto. And that's why it's really important. Because maybe you're like me and you didn't realize that actually the volume on the NFT marketplace, it's rising dramatically. And we can see here, blue and orange have an insane volume compared to OpenSea. That's what I thought first. Then I got my matcha. And by the way, the matcha from Starbucks instantly dropped your testosterone of 30%. So if you're interested in it, get your matcha latte. And you're probably asking yourself, why would I listen to this guy that is recording a video in his hotel room. And I agree with you, but don't listen to me. Listen to the data. Because Blur has been accused of wash trading, almost 80% of its volume, which is insane. To understand wash trading, it's basically some trades that are happening where the property don't change. So it would be me selling an NFT to myself. And it looks like there's a, some volume happening, but then actually there was no real exchange happening. To take a real life example, you have this friend. He tells you that he's talking with many, many women and you believe him. You're listening, dating advices from him. But then one day you realize that all the women he's been talking to were actually fake. He created those. And this is exactly wash trading have a negative impact on the market because it can create the impression that that market is interesting or that someone knows what they're doing or there's a lot of things, a lot of activities happening because everyone wants to go on the market where is the highest and the biggest volume of transaction. So like this, it's more fluid. You buy and sell quicker. This is completely illegal in USA since 1936, but crypto is the wild west and we saw as well on the CryptoPunk the art of wash trading. It's illegal because the data from wash trading can impact the market significantly. But what you would see in this video is how you can use it as your own advantage. And actually, wash trading doesn't only happen in crypto and in the stock market. I would say it happens somewhere else as well. When you check the volume of the past week for Blur, it's 70%. But however, the number of users is way lower. And the trade counts, they're almost the same. So it's pretty weird, right? Now you have to understand that Blur is actually a quite advanced platform where you can place different bids, you can have loans, and you have a lot more information. You have the statistics of the graph where OpenSea is more like for everyone. OpenSea is the coin base of NFTs. And I would say that Blur is kind of the Binance of NFTs. Of course, I'm taking the example of Binance in 2017. For today's example, it would be something more decentralized. And when you want to check actually how much wash trading is going on, we can see that we have 27% for Blur and 24% for OpenSea. So now they're pretty much the same. 
And that's why what I meant is that watch trading is not always a bad thing because those platforms, they need at the beginning to attract investors. And how would they attract investors if no one is trading on their platform? That's where Blur did something that is genius. But they are not the first one to do it. Reddit did that before. At their launch, of course, no one would use Reddit. What would you go on the platform where you post something and no one's answering? So they created tons of fake accounts that will reply to you and that looks that there was a lot of people on it. And it's really important to do this to grow the network effect. Now, Airbnb kind of did the same as well. When they launched, they had a small listing. So to have a bigger listing, they took the listing that were on Craigslist and just put it on Airbnb. We could say in a way that it's wash trading. I'm not saying that it is, but we are serving the same purpose here to increase the number of trades on their platform, what Blur did is to airdrop $300 million in extra tokens to loyal NFT traders. Basically, you are getting rewarded by Blur the more you place trade on their platform. So like this, whales were placing a lot of bets just so they can rank higher in this leaderboard. And we can see that actually we're gonna have a season three coming soon. So it's going to be another airdrop. So maybe you could ride that one. Now you know a bit more how to do wash trading. Of course, this is not investment advice and it's not also dating advice. You have to remember this, but the only advice I could give you is to give a thumbs up to this video if you like it. And I'm not kidding because at the last airdrop, someone got $8.4 million for free just from this airdrop. And actually, I think airdrop are starting to be really toxic for the crypto marketplace. I have a thesis why. Let me know in the comments if you're interested to know more about it, but you could serve some amazing opportunities in airdrop. And I think that would be the last six months to have those opportunities, then airdrop would be dead. So let me know in the comments. And when I realized that basically those airdrop were even creating wheels, I decided to check a bit further to know the rich list. Who are the biggest holders of Blur? And something that's quite mm, scary is that the top 100 holders hold almost 99% of the coins. And it's still fairly small. Only 50,000 people are holding some Blur. And the supply is not fully released. We have 40%. So that's why we're pretty early on the project. Now, what is the good side about Blur is that we have to not forget that there is a big narrative going on about Web3 gaming and play to earn. So if you play a video game and then you earn some NFTs in it, that can be a gun or whatever for whatever game you're playing, you would exchange those. And how are you going to exchange those? On the marketplaces. And that's why I think those marketplaces, if the narrative and if people are actually playing those games to have those NFTs, is going to grow massively. And that's why I think we could see a really good potential. I mean, the all time high was $5 last 10 months ago. That's crazy, right? It took a dip of 90%. So that could be a 10X from here. And we know they're still the first or the second biggest marketplace for NFTs. So yeah, there was probably wash trading happening on the platform. Yes, that manipulates the numbers, but yes, also it attracted a lot of users and the attention. Even me, I don't trade NFTs and I was attracted by it. And when I saw that some people were getting 8 million, I decided to check, okay, what are those people doing with it? For example, Magic Brother, I know that he's holding now for $5 million of blur. So he could have an impact on the market, right? And I can see that he sold at different points of time. Now, he made a lot of profit as well. So what I'm going to do, I could monitor his address and know exactly when he's doing a transaction at what time. Because he's, he's an active guy. On the 27th November, he sent for 250k of blur and he received those ones in the morning. So he's probably dumping them somewhere else. Now, if you want to know more about how I do this, I will put a link in the description below because I get a Discord server where I receive all the alerts of those people so I know in advance what's happening because I don't want to monitor all the time. So like this, I receive the notification. I'm like, okay, should I place a trade or should I not? I have the information 
faster than anyone else. And what about you? Do you consider to invest in Blur or you say stay away, they fake their way to the top, NFT is dead dead, you're totally wrong, hands on finance is the worst channel. Well, let me know. You have the comment section for this just below. And I recommend you to watch this video because you will understand more how I do my stuff, how I work, how I do my research. It was a pleasure. Stay handsome and I see you in the next one. Ciao.